What's up guys, Gabe with Bovier Dork, and I'm pumped right now. Why? Because we dipped down to the 37s at 3766, which was the day's low. But I want to show you guys something, because if we go back to yesterday, and you see my support and resistance, and my trend line here, I had support at about 3836, and resistance at 4123, and it broke out. And Apple Jacks, we recorded the video, but guess what? While we were editing AMC Moon's video, irrelevant. We had to improv from that point, and we had to root and champion AMC Mooning. It was a very exciting time. But then what happened? It certainly does moon, and it moons all the way to about $77 after hours. $77.26, right? Hey, guys, let me tell you something about, like, after hours and pre-markets, right? You get up that early, you see how high it went, you see the sell-offs, and... It just starts messing with your psychology, right? And then the market opens and it goes ahead and it dips, right? Well, look at the guys who play those markets that early. They're most likely swing traders, momentum traders. They're, they're, they're individuals like me. That's normally how I would play it. Had this been any other stock, I would have taken my 177000 gotten out, waited for the stock to reset, and jumped right back in. But no, we're not doing that because you guys get pissed at me for doing that, right? Because we're supposed to hold diamond hands. But I wanna show you guys something interesting. It dipped right back to support today. And then what did it do? It broke right back out and then it consolidated until we saw a high of 58. And now we're seeing consolidation now at 54. If you sold at 37, God bless you. Hopefully you were still playing with house money because that was part of your profit, right? But if you didn't jump back in and you cash that money out, be prepared to pay that 40% capital gain tax, right? If you're not willing to buy and hold and join us apes, stay the hell out. We're gonna go ahead and look at some FUD here. AMC tells investors to prepare to lose all their money if they buy the stock amid its epic rally, you know? That's like taking your daughter to the OBGYN. She gives her birth control and then doesn't offer the disclaimer of, hey, make sure you don't have unprotected sex. Guys, the risk is on you. The disclaimers will always be there. Why are we making headlines out of nothing? We all know this is not a fundamental play. This is a squeeze play. Gamma squeeze, short squeeze, make money wants tendies i do you do we all do right bitches be tripping y'all they are playing us in the very angles that we formed our strengths guys think about it we're on reddit we're on stock twits we're on apecrans.com made by yours truly we have formed this army without having met each other but yet we rely on each other so much but this social media element is what has empowered this movement. And guys, the only way they could beat us is by infiltrating those social networks with FUD and news. This is what they're doing because no one is winning except us. Now I wanna show you guys something. We're gonna pull up some Ortex data because I wanna show you guys the consequences of paper handing and the consequences of paper handing is that the short interest is down at 17.77 percent meaning someone was covering meaning this was by design meaning you fell into the trap we only want the strong in this army because only the strong is going to make it i'm not going to go ahead and do youtube videos for you guys not to listen and just go ahead and sit behind a curtain and jerk off talking about it we say listen to me no, that's not what we're doing. Like, I'm being adamant about this. A lot of you probably passed up an amazing opportunity. And you know what? You're going to have remorse. You're going to have that shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, my buddy called me earlier today. He was like, man, this contract, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. Man, yeah, but you did it. The only thing I want to hear is that we got some nanners and we got some Lambos. And also, before I go, I know you guys want to go ahead and get yourself a Lambo. I mean, hell, I'm going to get myself a Lambo. However, do not drop 250 k on the car. Lease it. Take the bulk of your money. Throw it in the index fund. Make the monthly payments. You'll be making a lot more with the $250,000 you did not drop on a depreciating asset by simply leasing it.
And trust me, a hurricane's a pain in the ass to get in and out of. And you ain't getting a blowjob either. Peace.